agility to recognize our emotions can be developed? You can train that? Um, yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. You know, what I talk about in emotional agility and in my general work is how all organizations are calling for people to be agile, okay? Why do they want people to be agile? They want people to be agile because they're facing increased levels of complexity mm -hmm. and therefore we've got to have people who are collaborative, adaptable, adaptable inclusive, um, flexible, uh, able to pivot, relational, customer-centric, but you don't get these things just by writing it into a job description. The paradox is this, the same complexity that drives the need for all of these competencies also undermines it. When people are feeling stress and complexity and ambiguity, instead of being relational, they are more likely to become transactional. Instead of being collaborative, they are more likely to become tribal and competitive. Instead of being able to take into account how my decision is gonna impact on other aspects of the organization, we are more likely to quickly default to black and white decisions. So the same complexity that drives the need for agility also undermines it. Because in fact, our technology has evolved faster than our ability as human beings to adapt. So your question, can you develop these skills? The fundamental skills of emotional agility have been assessed in organizations, in high-performing Olympic athletes, in leaders. These are critical skill sets. The skill sets of being able to show up to and know what it is that we and our team are feeling. The ability to recognize that our emotions are important but they are not directives. Just because I feel undermined in a meeting doesn't mean that I need to shut down. Just because the client has made me angry doesn't mean that I need to not return their telephone calls. Our emotions are data, not directives. And so emotional agility is about being able to show up to emotions, being able to create space between us and our emotions, being able to, in that space, take actions that are more values concordant and mm. to be able to create habits in our leadership and in our organizations that are aligned with how we want to be intentionally rather than picking up on subtle cues in the environment or subtle emotions of other people that don't necessarily um, fulfill who we're trying to be when we lead. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. E você acompanha aqui no Carreira em Destaque entrevistas com os principais executivos, gestores, headhunters da área de recursos humanos. Música